Hi everyone, I'm back for another wine diary, so I'm happy to have you guys here to share it with me. And I'm going to be taking out that second bottle from my Wink subscription earlier this month. So this is going to be bottle number two. And I am so glad you're here to join me because we all know it's, you know, it's not healthy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you join me for another episode of my wine diary. So I'm going to be opening up bottle number two from the uh, wine subscription that I got earlier this month. Next month I'm going to, I'll do it differently. So I'll do all four bottles. I'll fill them at different times and then just do one video all together. But seeing how I started doing just one, I figure I might as well finish these all just doing just one. So my, and I, and I didn't really show you the box and it's, it's really cute. So it comes in a box like this. Thirsty is no way to live. And once you open it up and it says poke me right there. I should have left it open. And then when you open it up, it says, you get wine. And you get wine. And you get wine. So just a, another cute little thing here. And package packaging is great. They're protected. Um, the way they package it. You do have to be home. Uh, UPS is the one that delivered this and you just need to get a signature. Uh, so you do have to either have it come to your home when you're there or if you're working, have it go to your place where you work and so that someone's always there to sign it. And as you can see, um, there's some wine bottles behind me and I don't want to point fingers, but somebody made me order for four new bottles. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to place the blame on anybody, but it was probably me. Yeah, so I've got some other wine bottles that I got from, from Wink too. So I've got over here, I've got a Syrah that's from Spain. I've got a red blend from California. Um, I believe this is another red blend from California. And then this is a Riesling that's supposed to be on the sweeter side from the state of Washington called Fog Island. So we'll be doing those at different times. Yeah, I'm not drinking enough to... Um, to keep up with this, I, I need to probably go back to work in the office because that one bottle lasted me all week. And yeah, and this is probably going to last me all week too. So, but anyway, I'm hoarding wine, I guess. But anyway, so the second bottle and is uh, called Alma Libre. It's a 2020, oh, I forgot I got the cap off breathing. It's a 2020 Carmenere from Valley Central, Chile. I'm sure there's some information on the back. Here you go. So let's uh, check this one out, shall we? It is a nice deep kind of reddish purple here. Yeah, deep and dark that is. Just kind of coat the glass. Just kind of swirl it without spilling it. This smells good. It smells like kind of like green pepper too. So I got green pepper, coffee, and some kind of berry. Maybe it's cherry or raspberry. Alrighty, so it says, um, this is uh, from a fair trade vineyard in Chile. It's got notes of, okay, black pepper and dark fruit. It says, leave your expectations behind with this bold, bold individualist Caminere. Alma Libre translate to free spirit in Spanish. 
and it is the per perfect description for this bold red wine. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. It says that it goes good with pizza, Mexican, cured meats, and barbecue. So cheers, everybody. A little bit, you know, it, it is a drier wine. So it's, as soon as you put it in your mouth and it hits the top of your palate, it just dries instantly. And as you go to swallow it, um, the, it just comes alive in the back of your mouth. It just, it hits those taste buds. The acidity from the fruits just gets your mouth watering. It's just really, really nice. Um, It's kind of tart back here too, like cranberry. This is one that said something about crushed rock, I think, last week. But I really can't tell what that crushed rock is supposed to be. But anyway, that looks really good. So for my pairing tonight, I just made, well, it was a frozen pizza. I'm going to be honest, it was a frozen pizza. It was a Mexican frozen pizza on thin crust. So there's chicken in here. It's got taco seasoning and onions and bell peppers. So I figured I would mix the pizza with the Mexican for my snack with my wine tonight. That is really good. I am loving that. That should be nice to, to sip. Caminieri. I don't think I've ever had one of those before, but that is good. And so I just wanted to uh, show you. I was wearing, last night I did that. I got my hair in my eye again. Um, I did that little winged stamp from Eye Method. And as you can see, I tried to do it again tonight. So hopefully I did maybe a little bit better job of doing it. And I also used, well, you didn't see the video yet because, you know, I just figured my eyes looked kind of like, oh, wow, last night with the, the wing liner that I figured I had to do another video. So I did my Ipsy video and uh, it came with this so pretty pal palette from Formula Z. So I've got that on. You can see it's a little sparkly and... And so that's what this palette looks like from Ipsy, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And so I've got um, this for like my transition shade and that kind of lower in the crease, that in the outer area here. And then I, um, I used, I think I used this one on my lid. And then I put my finger in that little sparkly one there that's kind of coppery and then put the sparkles on that way. Yeah, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, so I am really looking forward to sharing these uh, wine diaries with you. And um, it's just a lot of fun for me and just getting to make some kind of special kind of snack and have a sip of wine here and there. And it, like I said, that one bottle lasted me all week. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to be set for life. I really don't even need any more wine, but you know, I'm going to buy it. So yeah, so thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Um, you're amazing, and I feel so lucky. I'm so blessed to have you guys in my life. Um, to my new... Um, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I was just talking along, and all of a sudden I heard beep, and it yeah, just kind of stopped recording in the middle of it for no apparent reason. Maybe uh, my webcam knew I was starting to ramble and thought they would do you guys a favor and just kind of shut me off right there and then. But... Anyway, to my viewers, my subscribers, you guys are amazing, and I feel so blessed, so lucky to have you guys in my life, so thank you so much for stopping in and spending time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. It's not all about wine. Wine is fun, but I do do other things too yeah so yeah so i hope you guys go out it's friday night i don't know if i'm going to post this tonight or tomorrow so i hope you guys have an amazing weekend um my family and friends on the uh new england coast i know you guys are expecting a norista which is to people that don't know that out here in the midwest and that's a, a wicked bad storm wicked bad norista yeah pizza of a storm that's how we say things back back in new england so anyway you guys stay safe um your snow is a lot heavier and wetter than the snow that we usually get here in the midwest so i know there's going to be power outages and things like that so stay safe everyone um i hope everyone got out today to get whatever supplies they need to keep them safe and free and uh, just safe for the weekend so take care everybody i love you guys so much and we will chat again soon bye
Love you guys. Bye-bye.